Hey, God. Oh, so you still don't want to like it, sub, after all these warnings. Alright. You know, I warned you enough. I'm, I'm done. You got it. Made in heaven. Hey guys, Universal here, and first off, I wanted to thank you guys so much for 3k subs. We are on the way to 4k, and the support has been insane. Anyways, today I'll be showcasing the mythical Dodo Fruit at max level, giving you the best combo guide and a showcase to all the moves. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. First off, we'll be covering Grow Doe, a very fast mid to long range projectile where you build mochi in your arm and explode it at rapid speeds towards your opponent, dragging them along if they get hit before it explodes. This move has really good explosion AoE and similar stun to Jet Pistol. The stun is really good and can lead to true combos into the Lotus skill. This skill can also be used to counter grabs like Red Hawk and Dragon Claw by flinging them away the second you're hit. The move block breaks and has a relatively short cooldown. At max level, this fruit does 82 damage. Our next move is Doe Muddle, a very short range stun lock move that is completely ground based. You will not use this move unless it is to follow up the 3 which is something you should always do. The stun triggers when the, your opponent's feet touch the line of Doe on the ground. You will get the most damage off of the move being right next to your opponent. The move is not blockable and deals 45 damage at max level and when you're at the closest you can be. Next we'll go over the best move in your kit, Lotus Doe, a projectile grab in a way which will send your opponent up in the air before slamming them down and stunning them. This allows you to set up for one of the highest damaging combos in the game. This move has short to mid range depending on where you aim and just like Jet Pistol and TS Rubber this move won't go on cooldown until it's hit, instead it'll go on a 2 second cooldown every time it's blocked or missed. And you lose 175 stamina for missing it though, and this allows you to completely counter TSR's best moves Jet Pistol by just aiming up. You will hit them and start your own combo off of their move. This also works against Dragon Claw if you aim at where your character is standing which will let you start a combo off of their move. This move is blockable and deals 101 damage at max level. Next you have one of the best zoning moves in the game, you have Chestnut, you create a donut covered in spikes of hockey to constantly send out auto tracking spikes with mid to long range that will always hit the opponent as long as they are in the range. The move will fire 50 spikes from the donut, each one dealing 3.6 damage, all of these are of course blockable. This move allows for great zoning potential whenever you need to let your moves come off cooldown or you just need to recover some stamina. This move deals 180 damage at max level. Next up we have Anemone, you will create multiple fists out of the dough that will barrage your opponent and drag them to the center of the barrage. This move is completely blockable and your character can be in the sky while you use it, but the move must be used on the ground. This move, if used correctly, can be used to true combo directly into your ultimate, Buzz Cut. This move deals about 145 damage at max level. Next up we have Buzz Cut, definitely one of the best moves in the game. You will turn into a wheel of dough that moves much faster than the average player being able to dodge moves like Jet Pistol while using the move. This move also allows you to climb on walls and other surfaces, though if there is a bump you won't be able to get past it and you cannot travel sideways. If you only do the travel version of the move, it only has a medium cooldown and comes back relatively fast. The second part of the move is if you make contact with another player while in the wheel, you will grab them and swing them around a few times. This will also grab those near and then slam towards the ground giving 220 damage at max level. This move is also not blockable. Next up we got the bread and butter combo, as you can see he has about 824 health, you want to start off with the 1, then while they're stunned with from the 1, you want to hit them with the 3, when they're coming down you want to use the 4, then you want to catch up with the 2, then once they go through all this you want to hit them with the 5, make sure you get them real nice and close to you, that way once the 5 is over you can immediately just press 6, this is true, this is all true, then after this slam down if you have really good aim you can go for the 1 again, snipe them out the air, that is, and let's see real quick, that is an over 800 damage combo, but since he's healing during the combo, that's the only reason he's still alive. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys can see love, the real potential of Mochi. I'm going to like 1v1 every single other legendary fruit, and I'm going to 1v1 Dragon. So you guys can like get a really good like look at how good this fruit actually is. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.